this demonstration we're going to look at configuring content pre-staging for an application so what we've done here is we've come into our administrator console on our administrator console the first thing we need to do is we actually need to create a new application so I've highlighted applications we'll just right click at this point here and what we'll do is we'll create an application on the general page we'll ensure that our Windows installer type is an MSI file because that's where I want to create it from and then in the location all we'll do is we'll just browse through and we'll browse through to our PowerPoint viewer for which I want to create the application for. So I've navigated through the location what we'll now do is we'll select next then just on the import information have a quick read through we're fairly happy with all of that so we'll select next then what we need to do just on general information we'll just have a quick read through the general information we're not going to bother uh, modifying any of these settings here. If this was the real world, I probably would specify some additional changes, but this is just a demo. So we'll select Next. Read through the summary and select Next. And as you can see, now it's working through to create our application. And then finally, all we'll do is select Close. What we now need to do is we now need to just actually distribute that content. So all we'll do is we'll right click. And what we're going to do at this point here is we're now just going to distribute the content by clicking on distribute content. That'll bring us into another wizard. So on the general page, we're fairly happy with everything on the general page. So we'll just select next. We'll then add a distribution point. So we'll just select next for the content. In the case of the content destination, we'll just select add. Go for our distribution point. And what we're going to do at this point here is I'm just going to purely add it at this point in time to my two distribution point servers. And we'll select OK. Then what we'll do is we'll select Next. Read through the summary and select Next. And then what we'll do is we'll just have a quick read through the completion statistics and select Close. Now that's just going to take a little while just for the application to get on both locations. So what we'll do at this point here is we'll just pause the presentation and return back once the content has been distributed. So another way we can use to actually get that content on a distribution point is we can create a thing called a pre-staged content file. Now in an earlier demo we had a, a quick look at the pre-staged content file. So what we'll do at this point here is we'll also do it for our PowerPoint viewer application. So we can do this by right clicking on the application. What we can then do is we can then set up our pre-staged content file. This brings us into a wizard. So all we need to do is specify the name of the file. So we'll select our browse button. And within our browse button, what we'll do is we'll just specify this as um, PowerPoint Viewer. So we'll go to our E drive. No, no, E drive. This is where we'll type in our PowerPoint Viewer. And that's going to save that as a .pkgx package. So we'll select Save. Select our next button. It's just going to go through and validate the content. So that's uh, validated correctly. So we'll just select our next button. Just in the case of the content location, all we're going to do at this point here is we're just going to add our distribution point to be lon-cfg.com and select OK. Then what we'll do is we'll select our next button. Read the summary and select next. Wait for the progress to occur. And then finally what we'll do is we'll finish off the wizard. And we'll do that by selecting close. Now we have the file, we have to get the file onto the other distribution point. So what I'm going to do at this point here is I'm just going to go to the other distribution point. And on the other distribution point, all we're going to do here is we'll just do a, a backslash backslash. And what we'll do is we'll point back to the LON CFG server. We'll point to the E drive. We'll grab hold of the PowerPoint viewer. We'll right click and we'll copy that. Then what we'll do is we'll put that onto the C drive of the distribution point. So we'll just paste that through. Now we have that. As we can see from an earlier demo, what I did is I extracted my user state migration tools. And all we're going to do at this point here is we're going to do exactly the same thing for our PowerPoint viewer package. So all we'll do is we'll just clear off the screen, just make this a little bit easier to read. So we've already gone the SMS DP dollar folder, SMS and tools. And the next thing we need to do is just extract the content for that file. And we're now going to do that by extract content.exe forward slash p colon c colon backslash powerpoint viewer dot pkgx and then space forward slash s as we can see now it's now extracted all of the files and uncompressed all of the files so let's just go back to our config manager admin console on our other box 
then what we'll do is we'll come to our monitoring workspace and in our monitoring workspace what we'll have a look for here is we're just going to have a look at our distribution status we'll go to content status and what we're going to do in content status is we'll just highlight our microsoft powerpoint viewer and as we can see we have that content in two locations now, at the end of this demonstration thank you